this video, we'll look at how to connect Pro Tools Carbon to your computer and configure basic settings. Pro Tools Carbon utilizes an Ethernet standard protocol called AVB to connect to the host computer. This protocol provides a future-ready, high-quality, reserved and bandwidth-controlled connection between devices. After a few initial settings, you will quickly have your Pro Tools Carbon prepared for use with Pro Tools and other applications. The following items are required to successfully connect your Pro Tools Carbon to your computer. Pro Tools Carbon, an Ethernet cable, ideally the supplied cable, an Apple Mac computer with a Thunderbolt port and macOS Catalina 10.15.6 or higher. Available onboard Ethernet port or AVB compatible adapter such as the Apple Thunderbolt Ethernet adapter. It's important to note that most Ethernet adapters do not support AVB. Pro Tools Software or Pro Tools Ultimate 2020.11 or newer. Please be sure to always check the latest compatibility information. Simply connect the Ethernet cable from the port on the rear of Pro Tools Carbon to your computer using an onboard port or an AVB compatible adapter such as the Apple Thunderbolt Ethernet adapter. This connection should be a direct connection, not via Ethernet switches or hubs. Power on your Pro Tools Carbon and computer. While not strictly required, you can check the connection is available in System Preferences Network. The connection will be in orange with self-assigned IP. Open the Audio MIDI setup application found in Applications Utilities or simply search using Spotlight. From the window menu or by pushing Command 3, open the Network Device Browser. Pro Tools Carbon will appear in this window. To enable for use, click the box next to the name. The net indicator on the front of the Pro Tools Carbon should now illuminate. Within the Audio MIDI setup application and System Preferences Sound, two sets of audio I.O. will now be present. Pro Tools Carbon I.O. and Pro Tools Carbon reserved for Pro Tools. The default settings or configurations don't require any changes at this stage, but it's useful to indicate the unit has successfully connected. To ensure best performance from your Pro Tools Carbon, launch Pro Tools and choose Pro Tools Carbon as the playback engine. If required, this will update the firmware on the Pro Tools Carbon. Simply follow the on-screen instructions. You can optionally set the OS sound to also take advantage of Pro Tools Carbon for monitoring. In System Preferences Sound, select the Pro Tools Carbon I.O. option. The Pro Tools Carbon reserved for Pro Tools, as the name suggests, is for Pro Tools to utilize when Pro Tools Carbon is selected as your playback engine. Pro Tools Carbon allows you to utilize the monitor outputs for both system audio and Pro Tools outputs simultaneously. As always, and as covered in following videos, be cautious of monitoring levels and your output assignments. After you have successfully connected the unit once, Pro Tools Carbon will automatically reconnect and be available when connected and powered on. With these few simple steps, your Pro Tools Carbon will be connected and ready for you to begin recording and creating. For more information and other videos, visit the Pro Tools Carbon page on avid.com.